If you find LWC interview questions quite confusing, then this video will really, really help you because in this video, I'm going to cover the types of the questions that are usually asked in a Salesforce LWC interview. So the first question says that what if we give a tracked variable value in a non track list? Will the changed value get reflected on the screen? Now, simply what it says is that right now I have a untracked variable. It's a list. Okay. All data is an untracked variable and ACC name is a tracked variable. And now in this untracked variable, I am trying to push the tracked variable account name is the value is hello. As soon as I am going to click on the button, this is the button. The value of this account name is going to change to hello, which is a tracked variable. And I'm going to push the same data inside the untracked variable. This dot all data. So the question is, and I'm showing the all data on the screen as well, as you can see all data on the screen as well. So the question is, will I be able to see the reflected value as I'm pushing the tracked variable inside the untracked variable? So let's look into it. So right now I've done it. Let's click on hard reload and let's click on submit data. And as soon as I will do that, what's going to happen is that account name value will change to hello and I'm pushing the tracked variable inside the untracked array. As you can see, even though I'm clicking on submit data, there is no change at all. And the reason for this is that <clears throat> the outermost variable that is all data, which is an array, it's untracked. Unless and until you don't make it tracked, no matter whatever you push inside it, it's not going to make any difference at all. Let me make it tracked now. And let's see now what it, what's going to happen. So if I click on submit now, you can see hello. Yep. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. So it's working. So as soon as you make it tracked, unless and until your outer variable is tracked or non tracked, no matter whatever you're going to push inside it, it's not going to show any difference at all. This is an interview question, which were asked to me in my persistent interview. So please keep this thing in mind. Let's move on to our next question, which says that in the JavaScript file, if we don't extend the lightning element, will there be any issue? So if I go to the LWC's JavaScript file, which says that it extends the navigation mixture and along with that lightning element, right now I was navigating somewhere. That's why I was writing navigation mixing, but I don't need that navigation mixing right now. We can also extend to the lightning element. So the interview question is that what if we don't have this lightning element? What difference is it going to make inside our Salesforce org? And the answer to this question is that simply this lightning element, if it, if you don't extend it, if I don't extend this lightning element, let's try to save it. First of all, whether it is getting saved, it's not getting saved, but even though if you try to do it somehow, if you're able to do it, then it's just a plain JavaScript file. It's not a lightning web component anymore because this lightning element is the one which gives you these lifecycle hooks and everything that is within the LWC component, the framework of this LWC component. Because if you see inside the constructor, we write super, which usually refers to the lightning element and brings all the structure in simple words. If I remove this, it's nothing but a simple JavaScript file. It's not a lightning web component anymore. But if I extend the lightning element, then it gives me the property of the LWC. And because of that, I have life cycles. I have track, I have wire and everything, right? So that's the reason why we need this lightning element. Okay. Let's move on to our next question. Now, before moving to the next question, if you are having any kind of upcoming interview and you don't feel confident enough, then you can click the top mid link below and we can schedule a one-to-one -one mock interview with me that will really make you confident enough. Let's move on to our next question, which says that what if we do have two constructor, one with super keyword and another without it will both the constructor execute. So if you know about a few about lifecycle hooks, if you don't know, I will attach the video of the lifecycle hook as well. But in lifecycle hook, the first lifecycle hook is constructor itself. So we have a constructor LWC constructor, which has a super keyword inside it. And if you don't know what, what the super keyword is, I have also provided in it inside my videos as well. What this super keyword is used for, but super keyword is there. Let me write some alert inside it. Constructor with super keyword. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to provide a normal constructor without any super keyword. 
the question is will both them both of them execute okay let me save it and the answer is we can only have one constructor either without the super keyword or either with the super keyword you cannot have two constructor without super and with super so this was all that i have to cover in this video if you found this video helpful i request you to please 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 like this video and subscribe to my channel